Halverine, the weapon of vengeance from Marvel Legends is here and it's looking pretty sweet. So let's take a closer look and see what this set has to offer. Hey, what's up guys? So welcome back to the channel. So we'll be taking a quick look at Halverine's weapon of vengeance box here. Now he is one of the more recent characters in Marvel Comics that's been coming out as part of their sort of darker side. Now what's interesting to see here is he is part of the um, Build-A-Figure for uh, Blackheart, but it sh he actually doesn't come with a BF, BAF figure at all, or part rather, right? So you can see there that he's, uh, number, he's not number seven, uh, so it's interesting to see that he's here, but with no BAF part, right? Nevertheless, he's still a pretty decent figure overall, has one different accessory, and let's take a close look as to see what he has. Now moving on to the unboxing portion of the video, you can see here that he's in a windows space box. Uh, it's the standard small size from Hasbro Marvel Legends, right? Uh, pretty easy to pull out overall. You know, the, the layout of the actual figure and accessories is pretty standard. He does only come with one additional pair of hand skulls, which is the uh, flame uh, blades retract, or uh, yeah, extracted rather. Um, but uh, you can see here, not much to the actual packaging. Uh, the box itself also has a backdrop of, I think, like related to Strange Tales. I'm not too familiar with it, but nothing really related to Halverine himself. Otherwise, the box and packaging is pretty good. And let's look more into the accessories. Now, in terms of the accessories, Halverine does only come with one accessory, which is the extra pair of uh, hand molds here, which you see, right? It is the uh, claws that have the flames on them, which look really cool in terms of the design. I would have liked for them to have added at least one additional accessory, maybe like a slash effect that's on fire. But to overall, the, I really like the coloring of the actual claws themselves, how the orange and the red translucent colors sort of blend in together. Also like the different uh, lengths of the claws themselves and how they're not all one length, so it looks a lot more, like I could say, less clean, which I like. Uh, also here's a nice shot of it pointed at you and and just the overall design and the ability of it to actually click at the joint and move is really good so kudos to hasbro for creating this for us now moving on to the model design of helverine himself as well as the details you know he is a more of a modern character and a new addition to the ghost rider family right he is rocking his sort of like brown and yellow all new all different costume colors here really good um sculpting in terms of the muscles around the arms right for helverine also really like the yellow paint application and the muscles that they defined on the thighs as well nice and strong there in terms of the actual look on the back you got the uh, triceps bulging out on both arms really well uh the belt is pretty good there as well as the wings on the legs really like the coloring uh and the design of those and how they've been applied now what's really awesome is the head sculpt uh for helverine right the adamantium head with the flame sticking out of his eyes and head right these are all these look awesome the paint application of the orange and the yellow uh work really well seamlessly together right and also the positioning and symmetry of it uh behind the head look great right and it's also good as not perfectly even because it gives him a more aggressive look and just the way he's toned down on the actual look himself so great overall design uh, of the model of helverine in my opinion now moving on to Halverine's uh, articulation points, he does have some pretty good articulation overall, right? Uh, in terms of his head, he has pretty decent uh, side to side movement, left to right here, head tilt uh, back, head tilt forward, good range of motion there. Uh, and his arms, his uh, you can see here that he can move it up and down, forward and back all the way around, so you get full uh, rotation of his arms, right? All the way around, which is good in terms of the rotation there. Uh, lateral movement is okay, right? You kind of have to bring his arm up and tight or really um, kind of push through it, right? Because he doesn't have full lateral 90 degrees sort of um, posability there, but it's still pretty good range of motion. Uh, moving on to his arms here and the elbow clicks, uh, pretty good there. We can bend it over through uh, without any issues there in terms of the actual bend. Get some wrist uh, rotation there as well for his hands both right and his left hand here right um now moving on to the ab crunch pretty good ab crunch a nice uh a range of motion there move forward uh here's a shot from this back so really good ab crunching there uh in terms of the butterfly uh, and the shoulders uh, articulation there really good uh, um possibility and movement uh so you can get those arms nice and crunched forward uh legs in terms of the 90 degree mark so hits that 
pretty well all the way without uh, any um, without any issues. Get some good ro uh, rotation here in the hip area as well uh, on the right hand side here. And moving on to left, pretty good as well. Same, no real issues there. There is no lower leg movement between uh, underneath the uh, knees. It does um, bend though at 90 degree mark there. Fairly easily clicks pretty hard, but uh, still bends pretty easily or moves into a position fairly easily. Right, um, toe movement is pretty limited. Uh, it could have probably used a little more uh, range of motion here, but it's still moving well in terms of uh, forward to back. So it gives you a good uh, rotation there or movement rather. Here's a shot of him moving uh, back again in terms of the ab crunch and then forward and some more head tilting, right? You kind of see where he kind of sits at in terms of his head. So overall, pretty decent articulation. You can get also some nice uh, arm movement here uh, with the butterfly, butterfly sort of joints. Uh, overall, you know, he hits all the articulation points very well, doesn't seem stiff, and can easily pose him in my opinion. Now quickly moving to show you guys what his claws with the flames on looks like. You know, I've, just, I've removed his uh, closed fist uh, hand and put on his flame uh, claws here, so you can kind of see what it looks like in terms of the actual design and what it looks like on the actual body bowl itself. You know, it looks pretty good. Again, the scale of it looks really well placed doesn't feel too large or too small and, and it's actually perfectly fitting for Halberine himself. This is kind of what it looks like when he has his X sort of a pose here. Obviously I'm not a great uh, person at posing but you can just want to kind of quickly show you what it looks like in terms of him moving his arms especially using the butterfly joints. Right the bend and the weight um, sort of rotates on the wrist itself looks good. You get a nice overhead shot of the flames themselves on the actual claws and see different layers uh, of the actual flames themselves over the claws right so again really good coloring uh the design itself just fits his costume well and i really like how it blends into his overall character and model design and there you have it folks thanks for joining me today as we explore the new halberine weapon of vengeance finger from marvel hasbro legends it is available now shipping for $24.99 and if you get your hands on it if you haven't done so already and don't forget to slash that subscribe button for more content and the coolest superhero collectibles around until next time folks keep on collecting